Hey guys, Board Game Hero here and today we're going to play Desolate with two booster packs included in the game. Now, I have the two booster packs, pack 1 and pack 2, all mixed, on, mixed together. So, basically everything is the same, but we have new stuff and more of the original, um, more of the same content. So we have a larger pool of items, we have new affliction cards, a couple of conflict cards, and a ton of new exploration cards. We have this awesome uh, shuttle where we place our power cells. Then we have characters. There are more characters in the box. We have veterans, master, and novice. So here, to start the game, I I chose three veteran character cards, and I'm gonna choose randomly. So let's say these are the these are the people in the crew, and one of them will survive the crash, and will try to find their way back. So I'm gonna randomize. Just shuffle oops all right all right so i'm just gonna choose one so this is the time where the ship crashes and this one survives the crash so major kravitz survived the crash he's an engineer by trade major kravitz spent most of his years in the lab what he lacks physically he makes up for his keen intellect so he starts the game with power cell and an axe so he he has a power cell already and he has an axe so this is what characters brings to the game they provide uh, the players with specific items that you will find in the item deck so you don't have to draw three and choose two so let's get those items out of those out of the deck all right so we got those items uh, major Kravitz has he has an axe that will allows us to spend one oxygen and attack an enemy with two dice and then this is new in this game we have a power cell this is an instant power cell so you can just discard this one and collect a power cell cube um, seeing that he's intelligent maybe he can just find one or make one out of the scra scraps so those are our, our item I think we're ready to begin okay so just to, to explain to you a little bit affliction cards are new cards in the game you can get these affliction cards via an encounter or a conflict so affliction cards stay with you until the end of the game mostly this is bad effects like this one this one and more of it and you can remove it when you get to a certain location which is a sanctuary or there is another item that can heal or that can remove one of your affliction cards so that's it we can begin our first turn okay so for the first turn let's draw two exploration cards choose one to play let's see oh wow lucky we found an engineering room and we found power cell first turn first card a power cell so we just put it there and complete five so we need to find three more because we have one free here so that's a good start for us and discard next encounter okay sick bay this gives us two health but we don't need that so let's throw it away skip that and open the other one and we have a conflict so conflict okay that's that's normal so we have five and three five and three here initial damage to us would be two damage ouch okay two damage now let's begin attacking I'm going to spend two ammo make that three one two three and you know what let's just spend two ammo and roll some dice oh nice double sixes very good start so that alien is dead and we get a large crate now what's in this large crate 
Oh, wow! A power cell! Wow, 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 wow. This is a really good start for us. So, so we already found two power cells. We need to find two more. So this is also a new card. It gives you a power cell as a great uh, content. But when you go to it, this is this gives you an affliction card. So we're lucky we got the power cell from that card. And let's discard everything and start a new turn. Wow, I'm feeling good. I'm going to open this exploration card. So wait, we spent two ammo. So we are down to five. I keep moving these pieces. So let me just fix this table quickly. Okay, so I just moved it to the, to the right. So we have an we have a conflict here, but I'm going to pass that conflict face down and open this one. That is an armory that would give us two ammo. Nice so far. This is good. Next turn. Uh, I'm opening this one. That is a conflict with a small crate. We don't want that. Go away. How about this one? Oh, wow. Can you see that? All right. So now we found another power cell. So we are up to three. We, we need to find one because we already have one power cell here. So we just one more power cell and I hope we survive until the end. So we are going to leave this place once per, once and for all. Let's open this. Conflict. No, we don't want that. Don't want that. Dark Passage. Alright, minus one oxygen. This is a new card. It comes with a booster pack. So, minus one oxygen. I hope we don't run out of oxygen. That's our enemy now. So, next turn. Next turn. No, conflict. We don't need conflicts. And a cryopod. This allows us to spend an oxygen. We don't Ha, don't want to spend oxygen we are going to die if we do that so we pass that uh, I mean we don't do that we won't do that um, open our next turn conflict um, do we really need the conflict to get some oxygen uh, I think we can afford a conflict but we won't know we won't find out what this is this could be the next engineering room so I'm going to pass let's hope this is the engineering room it's a storage room. We can get this crate, but this could be the other engineering room. So, uh, we have more cards, so I don't think that would be the engineering room. Let's open that one. We can get two health or one ammo. I'm going for the health. Alright, so that is our crate. This is our room. I'm going for two health. Alright, two health, one ammo. Alright. Now, next encounter, Sanctuary, we don't want that, oh, I, I mean we want that if we have an affliction, but we don't, so we will skip that one and open this one, a conflict, alright, we don't have a choice, we are in a conflict with this alien, alien being, so that is just 5 total strength and 1 initial damage, 13, I think I want to roll two dice. One, two. Wow, three damage, all right. So he still has two health. Let's see what his attack will be. Two damage. Two damage to us. One, two. Then I'm gonna roll one. Oops, I'm gonna spend one ammo to roll one die. <laughs> wow so the character proves to be true he lacks what he lacks physically he makes up for his keen intellect so he's good at finding these cells but it's really awful at combat so again we take damage equal to zero oh and also he's lucky I'd give him that now I'm not going to spend an ammo I'm just gonna punch his face and he's dead now that he's dead, we can get a crate. Now what is inside this one? We can get two med pack or small ammo and I think 
we need ammo to fight yeah we need an ammo to fight so I'm going to get an ammo alright so that is our end of the round I'm gonna shuffle this one and decrease our oxygen by two so we are in danger actually so let's hope we don't lose one oxygen or else we're going to die all right let's go to the next round all right everything is shuffled we have three cubes and uh, 11 health one oxygen this is really bad and I'm really nervous right now I'm worried we might not make it but let's see think positive I know major Kravitz can do this you can survive all right so I'm going to open um, this one that is a conflict that I may want to participate in because this could be the minus one oxygen but uh, sorry um, let me think about this you know what okay let's fight let's fight okay so conflict five this is a hard enemy three damage to us one two three and he is five and that's four see so he has nine health I'm going to roll three dice one two three so let's hope for the best and get those oxygen seven eight nine oh wow just the perfect roll so he's dead oh whew. and let's get that crate give me an oxygen yes one oxygen and one health now we are good to go one oxygen we are good for one more round and one health all right whew. let's see next turn uh, I'm going for this one now a warehouse we can draw an item card here sure we want that um, let's see this item a rifle scope during conflict add to the sum of all of your dice rolls that's nice put it here and that's it the encounter is over that's also a new card in the game it also gives you power cell and it allows you to draw an item card um, next turn storage room um, I'm going to pass that for now should I no 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 let's open this one but we are wasting cards we, we might be discarding the engineering room uh, you know what I'm passing storage room for this I hope it's worth it oh oh my god an engineering room oh my god that was a good decision giving out the storage location for an engineering room that we didn't even know so um so we got this power cell from the engineering room and 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 I'm going to discard the power cell and collect a power cell cube so that done we have five power cell cube and major Kravitz can leave this place and go back home Wow that was a good game I didn't expect that to happen Wow I really enjoyed this um all right let's let's wrap this up all right so first of all I love this game that's a fact I really love this game especially with the booster packs it just improved the game it made it more made made it much better way 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 better than the the base game it adds a lot it's it adds some simple cards simple mechanics but it really added a lot of of contents to the base game which made this really great and by the gameplay you see we have characters now 
we have starting items we even have this this is my favorite shuttle cards new items that would give you power cells out of nowhere new items that would just take away your oxygen that would just really kill you anytime that's that what that's what made our last round really suspenseful because i'm afraid i, I might just die instantly and would not get those final cubes or power cells so really great game booster packs are a must buy if you love desolate you should get the booster packs it really adds a lot to the game and i want to make it clear that this is not scripted i didn't arrange the cards no nothing this is just plain coincidence just random cards being drawn there and i really love it what an experience i will never forget this one so this is desolate um this is the board game hero thank you for watching me play this game see you again next time